guys. Today we're going to talk about Frida Kahlo. Frida Kahlo is a Mexican painter known for her many self-portraits and her works inspired by the nature of Mexico. She's going to inspire our really fun art project today. All right, guys, today we're going to draw a Frida Kahlo inspired sugar school. So we're going to start off by making a U line towards the bottom part of our paper. We're going to make a U line. You can use your finger first to draw it. There's our U line. Then we need to draw an even bigger upside down U on top of this one. So I'm going to have it start where this one started and have it come up and come back down and touch that one. So now that is the head for our Frida Kahlo sugar skull. Now we need to draw two eyes. And to draw eyes, we're going to draw two big ovals in your head. So I'm going to draw one right here. And then one right next to it. And I try to make them about the same size. Then inside, I'm going to color in a smaller oval. There's my eyes. Kind of looks like a ghost right now. <laughs> All right, now let's draw our little nosy for our skull. So for our nosy, we're going to draw an upside down V line. And then under that, we're going to draw a jumping line. It's going to start right here. It's going to jump, jump to the other side. Jump jump and it's actually an upside down heart so if you know how to draw a heart you could just draw an upside down heart okay now we want to draw our big smile we're going to draw a curved line that comes all the way up and on your smile you're going to draw some lines and this on a sugar school is how you draw your teeth now, one of Frida Kahlo's very recognizable features of her face is her eyebrows. So to draw her eyebrows, we're gonna draw a big jumping line, kind of like how we did down here, but it's gonna be pretty big. It's gonna start over here on one side of her eye and then jump and jump to the other side of her eye. And since they're eyebrows, I'm gonna make them look a little bit thicker. So I'm gonna color those in a little bit. And I feel like giving Frida some eyelashes. If you wanna give Frida Kahlo some eyelashes, you can do that as well. So that's as much as we're gonna do with our marker. Now we're gonna grab some crayons and we're going to add some sugar skull details to our, to our Frida Kahlo before we cut her out. So I'm gonna draw just some little jumping lines that go around her eyes, but you can come up with some other details. I'll show you some more that I do, but you can do swirly lines, you can do polka dots, this adds some really fun color and design to your sugar skull today. So I'm coloring those in so it's really nice and bright and colorful. I'm going to put some little polka dots between each of those little jumping lines. I'm 
Maybe I'll put some little polka dots on her forehead with some swirly lines. Spirals are a great way of adding details to your face. You can see I'm kind of sticking with my polka dots and spirals because I really think they're looking really cool. You can add lines. I think I'm just gonna add a couple more spirals right under her eyes and I'm filling up the rest of my space all right that looks pretty great I really did a great job filling up all my space now it is time to cut out our Frida Kahlo so I'm going to cut this out first and I like to cut as close as I can to that black line, I don't want to leave any of that white paper showing on the other side of my line. Remember, your scissors are your car. That black line is your road, and you really want your car to stay on your road. So go slowly. There we go. Now we're going to grab our black piece of paper, and we are going to... Put a couple dots of glue, dot, dot, not a lot, around the outside edge of our Frida Kahlo. And then I'm going to put it kind of towards the bottom of my paper. I want to leave some space up here, and you'll see why in just a moment. And you know what? Now that I'm looking at it, I kind of want my little nosy to be colored in black. You can choose if you want to leave your nosy white or color it in black. That looks so, so great. Okay, now is where we get to add the flowers in Frida Kahlo's hair. So I'm going to take a few pieces of tissue paper and to make our little flowers, we're going to just bend them up just a little bit not too much you don't want to wrinkle them into a ball you want them to kind of look like this like a little flower so i just kind of went pinch i'll show you another one I'm just gonna go pinch not too much just a little bit pinch pinch and then you're gonna put a little dot of glue and stick it on right on top of her head so it looks like she has a little flower crown on top of her head and if you want to use certain colors, you can do that. Make sure they stick down. You just go pinch and stick it on. Pinch, stick it on. I'm filling it up so it looks nice and thick up there. Pinching, putting a dot of glue. Maybe one more right here. Oh my goodness, I think that looks so, so great. It looks like my little Frida Kahlo picture. She's got her designs with my crayons on her face. She has flowers in her hair. She looks so beautiful. I cannot wait to see your Frida Kahlo pictures.